All right, Gaffer. Um, two two. After all, a point gained or two points dropped? Uh, a little bit of both, I'd say. To be honest, I thought um, second half we, we, we took our foot off the off the boil. Um, we were two 0 up, and and yeah, we let them back in with obviously the goal goal in the first half, and then I thought second half the performance was pretty poor. Um, no intensity, no. Uh, no fight and no bottle really second half so probably deserved uh, got all we deserved let's mainly talk about first half some great goals on uh, offer uh, especially with uh, younger Alfie uh, Dodsworth for, for um, uh, first goal as well don't you think yeah uh, first half I thought were excellent absolutely mm-hmm. excellent I thought first first 30 35 minutes is probably the best we've played all season if I'm com- if uh, if I can be honest and and the, the little one two touches the little one touch stuff that we've actually been working on and we've been looking at uh, came to fruition today. I didn't really give much of a team talk. If it, if that helped, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I didn't really give many instructions and told him to go and enjoy himself because there's two games left. Obviously, not not a lot to play for, other than pride and a bit of uh, and, and moving into next season. So didn't really give him much much. Um, yeah, didn't really give him much to to do at all in the, in the team talk. So they've gone out and actually played with a bit of freedom and I, and I feel like that's probably the best half an hour that we've played all season it's just obviously a shame that there's not really a lot to play for because as a player you all you know that um, mm. and once you do go 2-0 up it's a bit of a dangerous scoreline um, and, and that's that's what sort of happened we've uh, we've took our foot off it they've scored and then they, they've got the momentum and they're on top for the rest of the game I think like I say it's been pretty much our merit since the start of the season given these youngsters uh, uh, a try, you know, a tryout, and you, you know, you gave a job to Austin uh, a start today. How do you think he, he he's played? Yeah, really impressed with Austin today. I thought he was really, really good uh, first half. Um, we, we give instructions to players that aren't playing, and 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 when they do, and when they show me that they can do what we've asked them to do, then they'll get back in the team, and that's what Josh has done. Josh has has worked on things that that he, we've asked him to work on, and he's and he's done things that we've asked of him, and I thought he was good. He. Um, we had to bring him off because he had a he had a thigh strain, so that's the only reason he came off. He wouldn't have come off, off otherwise. But that's that's the same with anybody. That's the same with any player. That's what they've got to do. If we if we think that they're not suited to the squad or they're not suited to the to the side, they have to work on those attributes and they have to get back in. And that's what Josh has done. So uh, that's off to him. And uh, our injury uh, was con- uh, continue, unfortunately, uh, having to bring uh, Thomas Copper off um, at half time. Just uh, just give us an update on how he is. Yeah, so we lost Maisie in uh, in training on on Thursday. He's fractured his foot, and and the, the tackle or the the incident happened with Cropper. Um, so Cropper's he's obviously got a bruised foot from the tackle on on Liam Mays. That's why Liam wasn't playing today. Um, yeah, so he just said I just asked him to give me what he can, and he, he said he could feel it half time. So it was another forced one. So. I think that's eight or nine players we've got out injured now, which is uh, from my time here. We've even as a player, we've never had that many injuries. It's just obviously we're we're sort of getting through until the end of the season, and we can assess in pre-season where the squads are. And on the positive note, out on the other side of that, you did manage to uh, bring uh, Greenham home for uh, um, in the second half, and it, that must be pleasing to see as well. Yeah, really pleasing. He's uh, he's not available next week because he's at work. Um, but yeah, really pleasing. That's one positive thing. I got a message off him this morning. So he, he saw Jay last night, and Jay gave him the go ahead. Uh, so that was a, a nice surprise for me this morning. So yeah, managed to get him half an hour. He did all right. He's obviously rusty, not played for for six, seven weeks. Um, but yeah, getting him some minutes is important, and that's what we did. And uh, just finally, we have the final game of the season uh, against Garfield next week. Um, um, more of the same. Yeah, we've got we've got to have a look at players. We've got to have a look at what. What what players or if we think players are sort of in the middle of being good enough, not being good enough, we've also got to look at the uh, the players that are, are currently here and seeing if they're obviously going to be um, here next season or not. Um, and it's and I, I I said it about three four weeks ago to the lads when we knew we were safe. It's it's a good opportunity for them to go and prove what they can do now. Um, and these last few games, I've I've learnt a lot about the players that that we had sort of question marks about. Um, we've made a few decisions on players, and obviously we'll be we'll be telling that to the squad. But yeah, it's another chance. It's another game. They're obviously right up there. It's a, it's another chance for us to to match ourselves against a good side and see where we are as individuals. Um, so we'll, we'll we'll look to do that next season. Uh, sorry, next week, um, and finish the season off with a win, hopefully. Thank you. Cheers. I proper lost my train of thought.